so uh, we're 500px. Uh, if you haven't heard of us, uh, we are one of the world's largest photo sharing sites. Um, it's a great place uh, for you to showcase your photos, to get some recognition. Um, our motto and the reason why we do what we do is to reward creativity. Uh, and we do that through um, exposure, acknowledgement, and trying to get into uh, financial compensation. Um, we launched a commercial licensing marketplace about two years ago, so that's uh, the standard royalty-free licenses. Uh, please don't shoot me, we also have Creative Commons. Um, but we started that uh, a couple of years ago, uh, just sort of further the opportunity there for our photographers. Uh, so just to give you a, an idea of the size of our community, we have six million registered users, uh, 60 million uploaded photos, and I quickly dug up this stat, only 1.5% of those are Creative Commons. Um, and so we've been working with Creative Commons probably in the last uh, few months, uh, Jane Park uh, out of LA uh, in particular, just to sort of figure out what we could do uh, to encourage uh, and promote Creative Commons. Um, as a business, we see it as an opportunity um, to you know, give our photographers exposure, to use some of that um, audience and market share that we already have uh, to enable the sharing of content um, and also to sort of as a lead gen uh, for royalty-free licenses for commercial purposes. And so we have a bit of a, a strange uh, relationship with Creative Commons in the sense that we don't want to cannibalize our royalty-free uh, business, but we also want to, uh, you know, drive more traffic to the site. We want non-commercial uses of the content to, to be made available, uh, and we think our platform's quite great for that, and it's a great place to sort of share uh, and search for uh, beautiful uh, photographic content. So uh, we're quite worldwide, um, 190 countries or so, um, probably a little bit more than that, and only 25% of that is in the United States. Most of that is actually international. Um, we collect billions of social signals, and this is something that we're looking to uh, monetize. Uh, we have, so all these users around the world, they come to our site, and because we're a sort of a social site, you can like and fave uh, and comment and share uh, photos. And so we take all that data, uh, and we can bring up some pretty, f um, pretty interesting results. Um, one of the really cool things that we discovered recently was that uh, Iceland is really popular with Germans. Um, so, uh, if you are a travel agency in Germany, uh, Iceland is definitely the place you want to promote. Um, so things like that, and that data is really interesting for us and, um, and for our photographers as well. We offer some of those insights to our photographers. We uh, operate on a freemium model where uh, basically most of the site's functionality is available for free, um, but we do sort of make a little bit of money off of uh, paid features such as uh, unbranded portfolios, uh, enhanced analytics and, and stuff like that for our photographers. Um, so yeah, about 200 million page views and 56,000 uh, photographers are currently uploading with Creative Commons. And so um, I thought that was quite interesting. Um, so this is just sort of a rough idea of the quality of content that we have on 500px uh, under Creative Commons licenses. Um, it's pretty exciting to see uh, the quality of content uh, that's under the Creative Commons uh, licensing and uh, hopefully that sort of supplements what these guys have been talking about, uh, about enabling creators and, and teaching them uh, how to create open uh, and shareable content. So this sort of speaks to the issue of, you know, do you have a release <laughs> uh, for this photo? But as you can see, a lot of these are actually uh, for non-commercial purposes. And so uh, this is great if you wanted this as like your, your desktop wallpaper or you're working on a sort of a school presentation. Um, this kind of content is uh, totally legitimate for that. And you wouldn't want to buy a royalty-free license. I, at 500px, we wouldn't want to force you to pay uh, $250 for a royalty-free license if you're going to use it for a non-commercial purpose uh, where Creative Commons is perfectly suited. I keep pointing it over here. But, but to, to sort of speak to that, one of the reasons why we launched the uh, royalty-free licensing was that there are companies and brands who, who can afford um, to pay the, the, those prices, they can, uh, they want the uh, assurances and liability 
uh, coverages, they want the, the rights, they want the releases, um, the model releases and all that stuff. And so that's where the royalty-free license model is working for us. Um, but obviously Creative Commons has a really big place uh, in our hearts. Um, most of our site is actually built on open source code. Um, we write it and we use it. Uh, we're quite proud of that. If you go to our GitHub uh, repository, you'll see a lot of our code uh, is available for free. We have an open API as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it. So hopefully we have some time for uh, for questions. Um, yeah, and that's 500px. Paul, did you want to come up and? All right, I'll do the question. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, so working with Jane, um, we're actually going to start digging up some of those some of those analytics and some of that data. Um, right now, we we changed um, how the how the site looks. So the user, the photo page, and the profile page, it's all kind of different. And one of the big changes that's coming up very soon is a uh, sort of a mechanism to download Creative Commons. So that you can do it now, but. What, what I'd like to see is a more, a better enhanced download button on the photo page uh, that actually has a detailed description of the Creative Commons license. Uh, and then we'll actually start being able to record a lot of that data uh, and a lot more useful data. Uh, in the past, you were just sort of right click saving. Um, so we didn't really know who you were or where you're coming from. Um, so it's actually something that we're really looking to do. Thank you so much, uh, Paul. I think this is, has been a very interesting session. I really enjoy it. Thanks for organizing it. My question goes to the two, Sebastian and the gentleman from Korea. One, uh, when you're looking at the music, both visual or audiovisual, uh, do you check for occultism you know, and subliminal messages? Some messages sometimes in the songs that are left in the subconscious are like symbols in some of the images you do in some of this content, because I do know some of the challenges you have. I've been involved in content. Yeah, so the two subliminal messages in music and also symbols and occultism. Well, for some clients, I try to put their logo somewhere in the background on purpose. Yeah, because that's what they're paying for. You know, that's it's, if, if you are a non-profit organization or even if you are a for-profit organization and you are um, giving this stuff away to be used by others, then uh, putting the logo in the photo can be a way of, in, in, instead of, of putting a watermark on the photo. Yeah, but but subliminal messages in, in, in a video or photos, no, I haven't thought about it yet. I think that's something for the manual, that's a new chapter. Um, in, a, in a background music, the some of the subliminal messages are illegal here. So we cannot do those things in, in music, but we use ultrasound. We put ultrasound in the, in our music, and people can hear, but human can, can't hear that, but smartphone can catch, catches those ultrasound signal, and uh, we, um, we communicate our speakers and and, and, cl and clients' um, um, smartphone with the, those ultrasound and we um, th those transactions can we, we, we can provide the coupon when they come to the store and we do those kind of kinds of things. One more question. Yeah. Is this still working? Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, the Korean uh, gentleman. Um, it's your. Companies, um, business model like uh, Germando, are you uh, competitor with Germando? Um, uh, actually, um, we we are more like to uh, we are more like a uh, business partner. We do provide background music in Asian countries, and they are more like they they do they do business in in store music, background music in Europe. But they are more like to be a uh, Music platform, which which uh, which are um, 
collecting a huge, 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 huge amount of GCL music database. And we are more like to concentrate on the business model, back, background music service. So we are, um, they, they provide us uh, music and we use them to pro provide the service. So can you join me in thanking the, pan the panel? And we were, we were actually asked to end at 3.20, or at, yeah, 3.20, so that uh, we can get back on schedule. So the next session is scheduled to start at 3.30. Yes. Thanks very much. A thousand years when all our bones have disappeared And every word has been erased